Uh, Hillary has caught the Pokemon bug. Uh, check out her at a campaign rally in Virginia yesterday. Because we're going to have a lot of jobs. Jobs from building infrastructure to coding. <laughs> Creating new apps. I don't know who created Pokemon Go. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> <laughs> Police are investigating the deadly shooting of a college student who was playing Pokemon Go near a popular tourist attraction. 20-year-old Calvin Riley was playing the game near San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf. Oh, another kid died. Pokemon Go. It was 8.45 in the morning and Shayla Wiggins was trying out her new phone game, Pokemon Go. The game led to something much bigger, not a Pikachu, but the body of a dead man. We're back now with something that may explain any odd behavior you've seen on the streets recently. The smash hit mobile game app Pokemon Go has only been out for a few days, but it's already got millions following their smartphones to the most random places and police fear possibly into harm's way. NBC's Joe Lynn Kent has more. Police departments across the country are cautioning against driving or trespassing while playing. Oh my god, holy shit! Oh god, this guy just killed his chi Oh fucking shit, holy shit. This guy just killed it. Oh my god, oh my god, I just witnessed the fucking murder. Look, I don't know what to tell you, but we got an epidemic on our hands. Kids are dying in the streets. There's no way we can prevent this. These Pokemon craze fanatics are just endangering the lives of many. It's outrageous. Someone has to put a stop to this. The reality that 47 million men, women, and children today live in poverty. It is about understanding that if we do not transform our economy, our younger generation will likely have a lower standard of living than their parents. This election is about ending the grotesque level of income and wealth inequality in America today. Tell me why, at this turning point in our history, we have to fight amongst each other and further pollute the Earth. The Earth should be returned to its natural state, and all humanity must make its home in outer space. Otherwise, Earth will no longer be the planet of water. Even Dakar, the city we're in right now, is slowly being engulfed by the desert. This is how exhausted the Earth is. Every one of us would like to see the Earth remain alive and beautiful. If we truly feel this way, then we should not cling to the earth like parasites, merely to fulfill our own selfish desires.